Ten years ago, Portlanders began contributing to the city's arts tax. The annual $35 contribution is intended to pave the way for young students to maintain a consistent interaction with arts while in the classroom. Tonight, the Portland Art Museum partnered with Portland Public Schools to show how they say that tax has done just that. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us now live from downtown Portland with that story. Jeffrey. Pete Riel, it was a packed house tonight for an event called The Heart of Portland, bringing students to center stage who have benefited from the city's arts tax, which every Portlander contributes to. K-12 students are jazzed to have the arts as a part of their lives, whether through instruments or by putting colorful ribbons and dancing on display. The rhythm that students, parents, teachers, and onlookers are experiencing, signifying and celebrating Portland's arts tax, which funds the salaries of arts teachers around the city. In 2014, Portland Public Schools averaged just over 31 art teachers. And now, 10 years later, that number is more than tripled to more than 100. I think it's a real tribute to what a creative and dynamic and innovative and arts focused, arts-loving city we have. Whether it's on stage or on paper, parents are pleased and proud that their students are getting an opportunity to express creativity in the classroom. Painting, they do drawing, they do dance, they do plays, so this is just about celebrating and enjoying that. Children happy to participate, creatively and colorfully shining a spotlight on the strength of having arts in the classroom from a young age. You know, from the time they're quite small. K through 12 artwork all over the place. This year's exhibit theme, Lighting the Way, celebrating a decade of Portland's art tax. Those kindergarteners who began benefiting from it 10 years ago, now sophomores in high school. Thank you, Portlanders, for lighting my way, nurturing my curiosity, inspiring my wonder, and encouraging me to explore and discover who I am as an artist. <laughs> It's an amazing pursuit and so fulfilling. Sam McKinstry has been teaching elementary school music for five years, calling music a vessel, bringing people together. And to be able to share that with our youth is so important. My kids are so passionate. I feel important in that my voice should be heard. Lily Gauchi is one of McKinstry's students. She's been singing since she was three and is about to graduate fifth grade. So that would be nine years. While she likes singing alone, when it comes to choir, she's happy to be able to jump in whenever she wants. People can't get mad at me for interrupting. <laughs> and among classmates sharing a similar passion. She feels right at home. I feel like there's a connection between us. A connection similar to these 10th graders who after a decade are passing the torch to the next batch of kindergarteners like they once were, welcoming them to the artistic community. We talk a lot about uh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. So whatever that shining light is that they have to give, and giving it to the world is, that's, that's my definition of success. I am important and I can do this. Tonight's event was free, and there are more planned throughout the week and beyond. If you'd like to find out how to participate, you can find out how to do, well, just that on our website, kptv.com. Reporting live in downtown Portland, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon.